tonight we are at Disney Springs and we are having a quick dinner at Pepe by Jose Andres. And if you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to stick around. If you don't know, Pepe is actually connected to Haleo, which we already have a dining review from there. It was amazing. So we're really excited to try Pepe. This is kind of like their quick service version. It's basically sandwiches and like small snack things. But this is by Jose Andres. He is a James Beard award winning and Michelin star chef. So the food is pretty much fantastic. Um, everything we had at Haleo was amazing. So we are really excited to try these sandwiches. and. The actual like first location of Pepe, like the first brick and mortar of the food truck, um, was actually in Washington DC. So we're here at the Disney Springs location and we're excited to eat. Alright, so I chose to get the Pollo Fritos sandwich here. It is a fried chicken thigh sandwich that is served on a roll. It comes with uh, pipera peppers, gem lettuce, aioli, brava sauce, and sherry dressing. Overall, I think it's a pretty solid sandwich. It is $12. It's only the sandwich. You don't get anything else with it. I think what I really liked most about the sandwich were the peppers that were on there. It added a nice little flair. Uh, not really spicy, but more of like a vinegary pickle-like taste to the, to the sandwich, which is really nice. What's really great about chicken thighs, uh, being that it's dark meat and that it's fried, is that it's pretty hard to make them dry. So it was very juicy. Uh, nice and crunchy, a good fry on the outside. But I think the thing that I don't really like about this place is the use of the brava sauce and the aioli. So if you don't know, the aioli here is basically just mayo. That is what aioli is in general. Um, and I don't have a problem with aioli. I actually like the aioli on the sandwich, but the brava sauce to me is just, it's too sweet. It, it's strange, it's a little foreign to me. So to me, I didn't really care for it at all. So. Would I come back here and eat again? Probably not. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I, actually, I take that back. There is one other sandwich I would like to come back and try, and that is the Serrano and Manchego cheese sandwich. That does sound pretty good. But when I saw the image of the Pollo Frito sandwich, I was like, man, that looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna get that. Overall though, I mean, it's a solid dish. If you don't mind the Brava sauce, which is kind of sweet, I think this is a great dish for you. For me, it was not, uh, just wasn't there. I ate the whole sandwich. It was still good, but definitely wouldn't get it again. So with our uh, little meal here, we decided to get the patatas bravas, which are basically just uh, potato chips served with aioli, mayo, and the brava sauce. The brava sauce is, I was tasting it again. It's like a sweet paprika, and I don't know. I don't like it. We have like not touched these chips at all. They're just not, it's not me. I don't like straight mayo and I definitely don't like the brava sauce. If you are into that kind of thing, you might really enjoy this dish. But for me, it's just not there. The chips aren't salty enough to be paired with this sweet paprika sauce or dressing or I don't know, would you call it a sauce? I mean, I don't know. It's a little bit different. This is more of like that Spanish authentic cuisine and not really digging it. It's strange, it's a little foreign to me. So to me, I didn't really care for it at all. So when I come back here and eat again, probably not. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I, actually, I take that back. There is one other sandwich I would like to come back and try and that is the Serrano and Manchego cheese sandwich. That does sound pretty good. But when I saw the image of the Pollo Frito sandwich, I was like, man, that looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna get that. Overall though, I mean, it's a solid dish. If you don't mind the Brava sauce, which is kind of sweet, I think this is a great dish for you. For me, it was not, uh, just wasn't there. I ate the whole sandwich. It was still good, but definitely wouldn't get it again. So like I said, this is basically all sandwiches here. However, you can get some salads as well. But for my sandwich, I got the Papito Tanera. 
Um, it's flat iron steak, caramelized onions, cheese, mayo, and roasted green peppers. It's a little bit expensive, but it's been very good so far. It's also served on pan de cristal, which is a uniquely crispy and thin bread, and it's actually imported from Spain. So maybe part of the reason why this, these sandwiches are so expensive, like the there's three special ones that come on this bread. However, the bread is amazing. It is very thin, it is crispy, but it's not so like crispy, crunchy that it's like burnt. It's like it's made to be that way. It's almost like a, as comparable to like a thin crust pizza, it's supposed to be that way. So this bread is supposed to be this way. It's very good. I really like it with this sandwich. The steak is cooked very well. It's a nice like medium, medium well almost, um, but it's still very juicy. There's a lot of melty cheese in there. The onions are caramelized perfectly. They give you, they have like a nice almost like buttery texture in there. Um, and then the green peppers in there give it a nice flavor. So I actually told Josh this is probably one of the best steak sandwiches I have ever had. However, I do think it's a little bit expensive. So you can get three different sizes. You can get a quarter, which is four inches, eight inches, which is a half, or you can get a whole, which is 16 inches. Um, I got the half and it was $26. So quite a bit of money for a like counter service type meal and it's just the sandwich. So I will say it's very good quality, like meat and bread and everything like that. Just a little bit pricey. They also have specials here sometimes. Uh, so today they had a coqueta de pollo, which was traditional chicken fritters with a bechamel sauce. Um, they were actually amazing. They looked like a little corn dog. And when you bit into it, it was basically like chicken pot pie on the inside. It was really good. The cheese was like the bechamel, is like a cheese sauce nice and smooth and creamy and the chicken was cooked really well nice and tender i really enjoyed those however i do wish there were more than four because they were really good all right well we just finished eating inside at pepe we did thoughts i thought my sandwich was very good i ate the whole entire thing and it was a big sandwich <laughs> I won't disagree with that. That sandwich, I had a couple bites. It was uh, phenomenal. It was an excellent sandwich. So I don't think that I would ever come back and spend that much on a sandwich. Yeah, it was pretty expensive. I mean, 16 bucks or $14 for a just a four inch and my that yeah. eight inch was $26. Yeah, so it was definitely expensive. Uh, and Especially when you're thinking of like a counter service restaurant, yeah. which are normally like, $14.99 and under. Yeah. So that was pretty expensive for it was. a sandwich. Uh, not a whole lot of seating inside either. So if it does get busy, uh, I guess you're going to be kind of like standing or uh, kind of finding another place to sit. Um, but it's also kind of like grab and go stuff, especially especially if you just get a sandwich. You can, the way they wrap them up, you can just carry it and eat yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, my sandwich was okay. Like I said, it, I wasn't a fan of like the Brava sauce that sweet paprika sauce dressing whatever you want to call it yeah just was not there for me now if that is something that you enjoy you might really like this place you know i think i think the price of the sandwich was like 12 bucks or something was actually not bad for yours yeah for like the standard of like disney springs and sandwiches yeah yeah i don't know that i would really come back <laughs> i would rather go to i'd rather go next door and get paella. I would rather go next time. door to Haleo as well. Yeah. Haleo was amazing. Pepe was pretty good. Not as good as Haleo, yeah. but you know what? They're connected. Just go right next door. Yeah, so overall the price for what we got, both sandwiches, realized that Taylor's was outrageously expensive. Um, and then the little corn dog nugget things that we got that was actually like chicken pot pie those were like chicken fritters that was 10 bucks for four of those and then the chips all in total ended up being like over 50 dollars. so pretty, pretty expensive. expensive yeah pretty expensive for counter service yeah if i wouldn't have gotten that really expensive sandwich it would not have been that much obviously um mine was like the price of two sandwiches but yeah. other than that so let us know if you have ever eaten at pepe here at disney springs